Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at a camera and more specifically a security camera that you can use to monitor things wirelessly from your phone. And what makes this one even more special is that it has some features that are quite unique. So this camera is made by a company called Acaso. So let's take a look at this box here. So it's not a large box. You can see it in my hand. So here in the front it says works with Alexa. So if you have Alexa and you want that kind of functionality, it does have it. If we flip around here to the side, we can see that it's wireless, has motion detection, 1080p quality, and you can actually talk, let's say your phone and this device. On the other end here, cloud storage options. We can stick a micro SD card in it if you want to save things on there. We can connect to the phone. And here's a quite unique feature. You can actually control the camera to pan and tilt. So basically go up or down or twist and you can control it through your phone so you can pan around and look when you're not home if you want to get a better look of you know what's going on around so it seems like a quite unique and interesting product so let's open it up and see what it looks like all right so let's cut this tape here and see what the camera looks like and as you can see guys it's not that large so here we have a little cover for the lens that's quite a unique and quite attractive looking camera so here in the back looks like we have a speaker. We got branding on each side. And it appears to be that this black piece here has other things in it, probably IR night vision. There's a little pinhole back here that looks like for maybe the microphone. And our SD card actually goes in there. And then the base here looks like it can rotate also. And our micro USB plug is right there for the power. All right, so let's see what else is in here. So it looks like we have a little box here with accessories. So it looks like we have a little pin wrench here, a double-sided sticker, some permanent mounting hardware, and I guess that goes with it. Looks like quite a reasonably long micro USB to USB wire here, and a power brick. And also we have the quick reference guide, and it does have four different languages. So English is one through seven. And so here we can see the process of hooking it up and how to use it. All right, so let's go step by step and see if we can get this thing hooked up and see how easy it is to use. All right, so for the first step, what we wanna do is we wanna plug in our micro USB into the camera and it simply just clicks right in here, just like that. And so here it looks like we have a power indicator light, which is red. All right, so it made a sound and that's what we were waiting for. So when you plug it in, you need to wait about 10 to 15 seconds till it makes that sound. So that's our first process here. And then the light on the top here, you can see will start blinking. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go to the Play Store and download an app called Acaso Smart. And you wanna go ahead and install that. So once you download the app, we're gonna go ahead and open it. And so naturally we're gonna have to register in order to make this camera work. So we're gonna have to go through all the registration process here and you can use your email or your phone number to register. So I went ahead and entered an email address and it sent me a verification code that I will enter into here. So once you put in the verification code, the next thing it'll go to set your password. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a password up that you can remember if you need it. So once you put in the password, you'll push complete and then this is what comes up. So let's go ahead and click on create here. So let's just call the family name home. So once we complete that, it'll say successful. And here we have the main menu. So I guess in the family name, I should have put some kind of name like, you know, your last name or whatever. So here on all devices, we can see that we don't have anything. So we need to add a device. So let's click on that. So under security and sensor, we have smart camera up here. So let's go ahead and click that next step so it wants to connect to my network so here we're going to need to put in the password and obviously this is your you know home wi-fi password so the next part it looks like that we're going to get the camera here to scan a code so we're going to click continue and it brings up this code and so what we got to do is we got to put it in front of this camera somehow and there it goes so you might want to not go too close to it because it looks like when i started backing away it it saw it a lot better so we can see that our light turned from red blinking to blue so i think we're connected and if that's the case that was actually quite simple so if you heard the beep then you click this and if you didn't there's another option for that so we did hear the beep and now it's connecting and we've successfully added the device and you can edit the name of the device here 
and you can specify where it's at let's just say living room for us here and we'll just leave that name and that's it and so here guys you can see that the camera is on and it's actually filming right now if I put my hand in front of it so basically this is your main you know menu here for the camera that you've selected if you go back you know you can see all your devices we obviously just have this one device so if we click on it it'll connect to it so that's pretty cool I'm actually quite far away from the Wi-Fi right now and that's probably why the signal is not all the way up here but in any case this is your main menu here of the app the cool part is is you can do quite a few things here well, you can take a screenshot let me go ahead and move this thing somewhere else so we can see something maybe a little better well I don't know if that's any better but anyways let's just look at that grass there so let's go ahead and take a screenshot of that okay so we're gonna let it we're gonna have to let it allow to do things so there we go the screenshot just got saved so we can speak to the camera so if we do this so now we can speak to it okay I don't know if you heard so you can make it work both ways if you click this button here you can talk and the people where the camera is would be able to hear you because it has a speaker there now if you click this button this little small one up here on the screen this one will let you hear what the camera hears you know they won't hear you so if you want to speak to somebody you click this if you want to hear what's going on you would click this one and the reason we can't do it is because we're so close there's a echo that's interfering because of the feedback so here we have a record so this is kind of cool too let's say you see something's happening and you want to capture it you can click record and you'll be able to record the video live as what the camera sees and not only that you can see we have an option here to move around as we're recording so as you're recording you're able to move this thing around so let's go ahead and try that okay so there is a little bit of a delay but it's moving and I'm guessing the recording has something to do with it but you can see there guys that I'm going up and down let's see let me go down just a little bit and now let's go to the side alright so we're going to the side let's go down a little bit more and there we can well so that's quite a unique feature so and this is one of the interesting parts about this camera is that you're able to move around quite a bit and you can see here we are filming and if I go back all the way around so it looks like it can grab quite a bit of an angle here I don't think it goes in 360s does it okay so it doesn't go in 360s it does stop eventually but you can go to each end in the end to see everything 360 around if that makes any sense you can't just keep going in circles though you have to eventually it stops and you have to go the other way all right well that's pretty cool so we've recorded two minutes and 30 seconds so let's go ahead and stop that and so now we have a little video that we recorded straight from the camera to our phone so if you had an SD card in the camera you could play back stuff straight from here and then here we have the directionals that we already looked at while we were recording and then it looks like we have some kind of alarm button let's try that the motion detection alarm switch so this is something that will I guess notify you if it sees anything so when we turn that on we have sensitivity we have we have low medium and high so it's on high right now I guess let's keep it at that so right now the camera is searching for movement if it sees any kind of movement it'll alert you so let's go ahead and turn our phone off completely so you know nothing's really happening let's see if I just wave something in front of this camera here and there it goes we have an alert so that took about three seconds or so before it realized something was there maybe about five so here we have a notification saying that it detects movement and it actually breaks down when the movement was and the timing and it actually made a picture of the movement you know whatever was moving so and that gave us an option to go straight to the camera from there so so yeah this is quite a unique little camera guys and I think these days you know a lot of people would love to have something like this because you know you're always constantly worried about certain things while you're gone or you're away either you're maybe your pets or your children or or maybe just your packages you know in the front of your house where you know people steal them or things like that so you can really hook this thing up anywhere you can easily do this through this app remotely from anywhere so we're still actually on Wi-Fi but I can go ahead and turn that off and then we're gonna use the LTE network here 
to still communicate so we can you know do all the same things we did before and looks like the delay is about the same as it was with Wi-Fi so it's quite good even just on you know your normal cell phone signal which you can guys see here that I don't have a very good one so in my opinion this is quite an interesting a handy little camera and the ability to be able to listen to what the camera hears and obviously it's going to record that also in the video but not only that is if you did have to talk you can speak through the camera to whoever you know is around so yeah guys overall i think this is quite a nice little camera it's very easy to set up as you saw there it doesn't require too much you do need to register and the reason you need to do that is because they need to send the information somewhere but overall, it was a quite a simple process. You know, even if you're not so tech savvy, I think you could easily do this. So if you want to get a security camera like that for yourself, I'll leave some links in the description. So check those out. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, then hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, I do reviews and other interesting things. So hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.